What's going on YouTube? Today we'll be doing a video showing you guys how to make stubs in MLB The Show 22 right now. And of course you can make even more stubs if you listen to these tips and do the things right away when they first come out. So the first thing that we're going to be talking about is the events. The events have been out for quite a while. They end September 16th. They've been out for about a week right now. I have not played the events as my stub count is pretty high. I don't really need to play the events, but if I ever need stubs, this is a great way that you can hop in, get some wins and get some stubs. Even at 10 wins, you're going to get stubs for winning games, some XP if you need to finish the feature program. This is good for XP as well. You're going to get some free packs and then these event rewind packs. If you look at some of these cards, 50,000, 60,000. A lot of these go for around 50 to 60,000 stubs, especially the newer uh, rewind packs. So if you're looking at how Newshauser or Eddie Murray, going to get you some stubs right there. And then you look at Elvis Andrus, uh, 68,000, 57,000 stubs right there. Um, you can sell those cards. Obviously, if you want to get the next collection, you want to have some of these cards. But the whole point of this is if you don't need these cards, go ahead and sell them. Like, I already bought these cards. So if I play the event right now, I earn them again. I could sell them. Uh, 83,000, 69,000 sell now. Really good right there. Uh, and another rewind pack. You definitely want to get the rewind packs because that means that you can get the older cards and just sell them because you already have them. Hopefully, you already have them. You get some home run derby and all star game packs. You get the rare round there. And you can make some stubs if you get the base round. That's till, still 10,000 stubs for each card. That's 20,000 stubs right there. Just And then the rewind packs are guaranteed stubs as well. Um, so a lot of good stubs right there. Now, the big thing is, is if you do these like day one. So if we look at the, the rules or the event info about when it started. I think it started last week. It doesn't say when it started. I don't know why, but okay. But if you look at when the event starts, you play the event the first couple days, get these rewards right away. Let's take a look at like the marketplace on uh, Elvis. Day one, day two that this card came out, you can sell them for around 118,000 to 190,000, depending on, but I would probably go close to the 118,000, 140,000 is probably what his price point was if you grinded them day one. Uh, with Lorenzo Kane, same type of thing. 150,000 to 200,000 you could have sold him for day one. That's a huge jump if you were able to get these cars the first couple days, just grind events. So instead of grinding BR, instead of grinding against the CPU, go in, grind some events, get those 15, 20 wins, and you can make a lot of subs day one. It is a grind, but three inning games is really not that much. Uh, if you go behind like the first inning, you say you're losing seven nothing in the first inning, just quit out of the game. Don't waste time. You're not going to win that game. Go ahead, hop into the next game, find an easier opponent, and try to win that game. That's kind of how I tackle these when I'm playing uh, for to get these wins as fast as possible. If I'm losing a game, I just give my opponent the win, hop into the next game, and move on. So events, great way to make stubs, especially when the new event comes out. Look for this. It ends September 16th. Look for the new event September 16th. Grind that event as fast as possible. Make some stubs. And if you haven't grinded this event yet, go ahead, get those stubs, start grinding the event. Um, I Battle Royale is going to be the next program that we take a look at. I just finished the Battle Royale program today. I had already bought all these cards. I bought Kevin Euclid. I bought the BR Flawless Rewards a long time ago. So I was like, you know what? I want to make those a little bit of those stubs back. Plus, I get the Rewind Pack I can sell. I'm going to go ahead and grind this BR event. Get all these bronze, silvers, and golds that I already bought as well and sell these. These guys go for a penny. If you look at some of these guys, you're like Yoan Makata, 4,000 stubs. You look at the, these golds, 15,000 stubs, 19,000 stubs. A lot of stubs to be made in this BR program if you don't want to keep some of these cards. Obviously, you should probably keep some of these cards for future collection. That should be happening in the next week or two. I believe that we will get another collection very, very soon. But silver's going for about 5,000 stubs. Bronze going for about the max of 2,500 stubs. And then you have the golds going around. The new golds are going around for 15,000 stubs. 
but you also get the rewind golds and you get to choose three of them. Those are going from for about five to six thousand subs as well. So you get the rewind version of the bronze, silver, and golds. So at the very least, you can sell the rewind versions for the 2,500 stubs, 5,000 stubs, and I think around six or 7,000 stubs for the golds. They don't go for like the 13,000, 19,000, but they do go for a decent amount as you're working through these programs. Get to Kevin Euclid, he's going for around 36,000 stubs, and you get to the BR Flawless Packs, those are going for around 140,000 stubs right there. Very good. Now let's take a look at like Kevin Nicholas day one because a new BR program as we are speaking com comes out today. This video is going up on Tuesday. So this video basically right now there's a new BR program. Go grind that program. If you look at this guy right here, Kevin Nicholas day one was selling for upwards of 178,000 stubs, maybe 112,000. Roughly around that area is what you could have sold him for day one. Uh, Volpe, if you got him day one, let's take a look at his price around 400 to 300,000 subs is what you could have sold him day one. So you grind this program day one and you can get 300 to 400,000 subs for selling that flawless reward, especially if it's a good one. We already know one choice so far. Anyways, as far as the missions go, very easy. The bronze player missions, just draft these players, do their mission. You can get some XP, as you can see. I didn't do all of them, but I did a majority of them. But that right there is four each, and there's four in each one. So that is 16 plus 16 plus 16. That's 48 points right there. You go to these missions, you look at like K's. They always have these missions that you need to do throughout the BR program, the uh, parallel XP total. That's another 30 on top of the 48. So that's 78 right there, plus another 10 right here. That is 88, plus 40Ks, that is 98. And then they have single BR entry. So you have to do these two missions in a single BR entry. So if you're not very good at BR, these two could be struggling right there. But you already got 98 from completing these other missions. All you need to do then is win two BR games to get the additional two to get to that 100 star mark the 100 point mark to get that flawless reward so technically you only need to win twice in order to get the 100 points very very easy to do i think you guys can do it pretty easily uh, and that's another way to earn stubs in mlb the show 22 i think those are the two best ways events and br program grind those out immediately and you can make stubs if this did help you out, please leave a like, subscribe if you're new, and turn those post notifications on so you guys don't miss out on any other videos. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching.